so my darlings my lovelies how are you welcome to yet another beautiful vlog this time i'm somewhere in ginger and i'm invited again by one and only dr tash tash sorry she's gonna beat me for this one <laughs> but i'm here because she has invited me to show me a very beautiful venture when i talk about inspiration i think she runs into my brain like very fast like this yeah so she has a beautiful airbnb and it's what i have come to check out so you guys who are in the us in the uk in jamaica in japan in zimbabwe eh? wherever you are this is the most beautiful place you're going to find here in ginger it's around ginger she'll be giving us the specifications of this place my name is lin zabu and this channel is lin zab's world and i show you all things inspirational all things music charity whatever name it so join me let's meet madame tash again <laughs> <laughs> Hello, mommy. Hi, Lynn. Yeah. How are you? Oh. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's again? Looking nice mm, as always. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I am so honored that you have invited me to your yet another venture. This, yeah. this, this lady is very inspiring. She, every time I'm looking at her, I'm like, <laughs> like. Again, a handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are teasing me all the time, every time. But yeah, we're going to keep this handkerchief eh? here, 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 here. Hmm. So you know why I include jokes in my videos? Because, you know, life, life, joke, call, play. Yeah. Anyway, Madam Tash, how yes. are you since I last met you? You know, the last time you met me, I was dying with the flu. Yeah. But I'm getting better now. I'm very glad that you're yeah. getting better. For sure. Um, so, Madam Tash, where are we standing? Yeah, we are standing in a... This is called Rapa Center 2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last time I told you we have uh, different centers. Yeah. Yeah, now this is Rapa Center 2. We are in Ginger. Sometimes we call it Kayunga Stroke Ginger mm -hmm. Cluster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but right here where we are, we are just... <laughs> at the front of uh, one of our white houses. White house. <laughs> yes! Exactly, uh -huh. white houses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last time you saw the white house in Kampala. Yes. Now this is the white house in Ginger. Next mm -hmm. time I'll show you another white house, okay? And yes. another white house. But for now, we are here. So this is also part of Rapo. Yeah, this is part of Rapo. Okay. I, I would like to briefly, just in case there is somebody out there who did not see the video. Yeah. Um, what do you mean? So the last time um, we were talking about Rappo and all the foundations. Yeah. So is this also still part of Rappo? Yeah, this is a uh, part of Rappo. Mm -hmm. This is partly Rappo. Mm -hmm. Partly yeah, Rappo. Partly Rappo. Because mm -hmm. uh, when we get our guests, yes. yeah, definitely they sleep in here. Hmm. Yeah, this acts as an Airbnb. Hmm. Anyone is allowed to come and sleep here, chill, have a good time. I think uh, since we reached here yesterday, hmm. you have seen a change, you know, from from the bustles and the hustles of the city. Yeah, guys, the trees can be singing at <laughs> night. The birds are flying over. There are lots of fruits around here. Yeah. But most importantly, there is a lot of love here. Yeah. Like, like you don't know. <laughs> so. Yeah. I really, 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 really want to because I already took it. I peeped in the house and I already, ready, ready. So, so tell me about this as uh, your venture as Airbnb. Okay. So, um, when we receive guests, mm -hmm. yeah, we make sure they come and sleep here. We don't have to put them in a, a hotel. Yeah. Because all the money we get from here, we take it as a donation. It mm. runs the organization. Yeah. So whenever you come here and sleep here, definitely you are supporting our project. Oh. You are pro in fact, not one project, mm -hmm. projects. Okay. Here, I, I think on Saturday, you will see the children. Mm. The children we sponsor. We have women. Oh my God. We have the youth sports academy. You know, you're going to enjoy netball. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, and music. So it's partly rapper. You come sleep here, pay some money. Oh, okay. And then instead of sleep, paying it in a hotel, mm. pay it here. Let us put it into the organization and okay. run it. You're going to be taking us through and we are going to be asking you questions. Mm. I think our videographer can go before us so yeah. we, we, you can see us, guys. So... 
what is this that we are seeing? What is this? Uh, yeah, so uh, this is just a chilling place, a relaxing place. Yeah. Yeah, so whenever you're in here, you can have some stuff here. You already see there are people here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are still transforming this house. Mm. Yeah, because we changed it. We got off all the chairs that were here. I realized that our guests mm. don't need these uh, big sofas and all that. Mm. They need chairs mm. of their own, you know, like they don't want to feel like they're there in their homes. Mm. So uh, apparently we have put these small chairs in here mm -hmm. and we are trying to put a TV over here. Yeah. Yeah, I think we came with that I TV. I already saw it in the <laughs> you box. Saw, you saw yes. it in the box. Yeah. yeah, we are putting a TV here, though mm. most of the guests we get don't, don't like have to. time for TV. Yeah. They come here, Ginger is a strategic place. This mm. place is a strategic place. Mm. You come here, sleep here, or camp here. We shall show them the camping site. Yes. Yeah, come here, sleep here, go do rafting, mm. go do hiking. We have uh, the source of River Nile. I mean, yeah, it's a, a good place. Yo, guys, the most important thing that I love about this place yeah. is that it's an Airbnb. Mm. So most people, uh, when they're doing air and B uh, organization, yeah. they want to make it look uh, a certain hotel kind of feel. Yeah. And they forget that most people who go into air B and B, mm. they want to feel at home. Yeah. I love the details of the walls. Like guys, <laughs> tell me this is not beautiful, huh? This is beautiful. It's African handmade. Everything makes you feel like you're definitely, definitely at home. I mean, look at all these painting guys. They yeah. look amazing. Like, okay, they said I shouldn't touch, but they already touched. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, the reason as to why I'm showing you this house yeah. just the way it is, yeah. is because most people do put Airbnb and they make it look like it's classy. It's perfect like it's spotless yes when you get there mm. it's a different story that's right and on my channel i'll show you things as they are yeah so you know your expectations mm -hmm. um how long have, has this been in operation doctor uh two and a half years now two and a half years and it yeah. already looks like wow i'm impressed <laughs> yeah i'm you. just so impressed so you're leading us and okay. we are following you yeah, now this is one of the bedrooms. So if they come, definitely they're going to expect. We have someone in here already. So when you come, you expect to have such a beautiful bed, an ample space. You have a working table over there. Um, you have a fan just in case you need it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have something here where to put your clothes. It's mm -hmm. a closet. Yeah. Like I told you, we have people in here. The guests are already yeah. here, so it's not. It's a. It's a very affordable place. That's why people are already here. Yeah, you're supposed to come, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Dr. Tash is also a content creator. Please run to her channel. Her channel is called T and T. Connect UG. Yes. And then she has another one that is called African Unit for Content Creators. And this particular one is talking about uh, Africans, especially the ones who are doing content creator. Yes. If you're there and you're a content creator and you'd love to have a word with her, you'd love to share your views, you'd, your struggles as a YouTuber, this one. <laughs> to join. Okay, now this one is yeah. such a beautiful space. You know, Lynn, when I'm in a washroom, mm. in fact, I prefer having a better place in a washroom. Mm. In fact, if I was using this as my home. This is a bathroom? Yes, it is. Chai, this is a bathroom? Yeah, it's an entire washroom. Look at this. You can keep your stuff in here. So, basically, her bathroom <laughs> is the size of... No, don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> Her bathroom is the size of my entire living space. <laughs> yeah. Chai. Yeah, so this is the entire, wow. uh, just call it washroom, restroom, just name it. Like I said, if I was using I this. I mean, guys, guys, imagine. <laughs> go there. I want them to see. Imagine. <laughs> You can even bring your laptop. Laptop, exactly. <laughs> you you yeah. have a chair. Bring, and then bring a table, you'll be uh -huh. like... Oh. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. <laughs> and then we have a bidet here. A what? We have a, uh, we have a bidet. Uh, this bidet is a, a bidet. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> or you can call it a bidet. Yes. Yes, and then we have a shut-off. So if a you... shut-off? Shut-off. 
all these thumbs are new to me. Where do you get these thumbs? <laughs> That's who they are. Most ah. of you know what a shut off is. Mm. Yeah, so uh, after doing whatever you're doing in here, mm -hmm. what you do, you wash yourself. You don't have to wash it from here, you wash mm -hmm. it from a bidet. <laughs> Clean yourself. I want to come and do bad manners <laughs> in this one now, just for the experiment of it, guys. Eh? I want to do it just for the experiment of it. Yeah. And I love the fact that she has a free uh, perfume jelly for you guys. This is what she. This is part of her products. She's she owns a, a company a called company. Tash Cosmetics Empire Limited. Your beauty matters first. Yes. And guys, eh, you can't touch my skin, but <laughs> I use this in the morning and I'm not dying. Eh? Yeah. If you know how... Touch how did you skin. find it? How did you find it? Hey. Hey now. This, <laughs> it was soft. Yeah. It was, it has a very silent, but yet bold smell. Yeah. You know, like somebody who is silent but bold, when they step in the place, you know that one is so and so. Yeah. So this was the what the, the jelly gave me. Mm -hmm. She also gave me an oil yeah. product, which is definitely a must use for you guys. Please go and try it out, then come back and give me genuine review. So what is this space, Doctor? Yeah, this space is mm -hmm. just like a workspace. Yes. You come, you put your stuff in here, you can do your... Uh, when you're in a washroom, sometimes you don't have time mm -hmm. to think about nothing negative. Mm -hmm. You just want to feel the vibe, go help yourself, oh bathe my. and do whatever. And then you can do the charging here. Uh -huh. You can put your laptop here, do yeah. some stuff here. We have some chairs for you we can put here. You can sit here and do your work yeah. in the bathroom. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> This is my perfect toilet space, <laughs> definitely. Yeah? Yeah, so, so you mean I can neglect everyone there? Yes. Come and be. Hmm. Yeah, you can wash Yay! from here. If you want to put a chair, you mm. wash. Mm. And then also, mm. so what we do, most guests don't wash for themselves. Mm. We try to support the community. Mm -hmm. We have ladies who come in to wash and then we pay them something small. Yeah. Yeah, because our some of our visions or aims mm. is to help and support the community. the community so women empowerment mm -hmm. we empower the women give them the job wow. that's why you don't see any washing machine here wow. yes if we bring a washing machine definitely these ladies are going to lose their jobs their, their job yes yeah so and in african traditions yeah. we you see the reason as to why africans seem more healthy their immune seem to be more stronger this is no shed to anyone, but it's a fact. Yeah. It's because we do things manually. We yeah. do things manually. And here, yes. your clothes. clothes. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was saying, mm -hmm. uh, you can get, when you want to just wash your little stuff here, it's mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. But your clothes and everything when you're here, like I said, the ladies will help you wash it. Right. And now, mm -hmm. uh, this is for the towels. I told you we have a guest here, so he put something here. Mm -hmm. But we put some towels there, towel rail, and then we have another towel rail there. And all your dirty laundry should be put in, in the here. basket. And oh. in the basket. Man, this is pure luxury. <laughs> you have all, yeah. so you guys, eh? <laughs> Sister Mint, you want to come to Uganda and relax? I got you. This is the place to come. Yeah. You, and and you, if you're going to visit Sala Tourist, definitely you pass here first, then you go and visit her. Mm -hmm. If you are from Sala Tourist and you feel like you want to have a little private space, they leave this whole house to you. Yes. And you enjoy and you put everything here. They take the clothes outside. Yes. And then bring them to you. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, now this is the bathroom. Wow. You call it a washroom sometimes. Wow. Okay, so we have a, a heater. There. We have a telephone shower. We have a rain shower. Then we have a normal tub. Mm. That is it. And then you have um, soap dishes for you there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a bucket just in case. That's it. So when you bathe, this is so great because you just, whoops. Okay, <laughs> let's just change the side. And it's clean water, by the yeah, way. Yeah, it's, it's clean water. Clean water. Yeah, so now that water well, is its leak lining. That it will just go straight the there. The drainage. Okay, 
So, right. Wow. This this bathroom is now my ultimate dream bathroom. You're welcome yeah. to copy <laughs> it. I'm pretty confident. Where are we heading next, Doctor? We are heading. There are also other, um, other bedrooms, rooms? other rooms like this one. Yeah. This is not laid, yeah. but this is an also ample space having the same wardrobes here. Mm. Yeah. So this Stuff is not here. laid because you had guests and they already left and they, the, you guys, the reason as to why I'm showing you this is because most hotels or most Airbnbs, when the guests use the beds and they go, what the, the caretakers do, mm. they just iron the bed sheets. Eh? They just iron the bed sheets and put them back. But I said I have to show things just the way they are. Yeah. And um, I think there were, even the guest hasn't fully left, and yeah. we shall give the privacy sure. here. Yeah. Uh, there is still um, guest stuff there, so we will not go into details. But you see, you still have um, yeah, a work another space there. workspace and a very, very, very comfortable chair. Yes. A very comfortable chair for that. Okay. Okay, doctor, where are we heading next? Yeah, so I think this is also another, so there's someone in here. There's somebody, let's not go there, but yeah. you can see even the laptop is there. Yeah. They're already working. So, uh -huh. this is your kitchen for those of you who want to cook for yourselves. Wow. Yeah, we have a fridge in here. Wow. You can put whatever you want. Yeah. Come, feel at home. Just wow. come, feel at home. Everything you, you need, you'll find it. Oh my goodness! Oh my. Am I allowed to touch this one? You're very allowed. That's not a flower. You. <laughs> You're allowed to touch. I need this one. Who made this for you? Yeah, these are African baskets. This, we bought this in ginger. So you put your utensils. This is what separates the um, utensils. Yeah, these are cutlery. You put forks. Yeah? This uh, mm. cutlery. <laughs> <laughs> I love this space yeah, and the fact so that beautiful. it is far away from the noises of the city. Mm. You will not hear a church. You will mm. not, not that I'm against churches, yeah. but you know what I mean. Like if you're near a church, you know what I mean. They're not next to anyone. So it's pure peace. Yeah. Pure peace. Only on Sunday. Uh -huh. Yeah, because on Sunday you may be passing by and then you'll find the church oh, in case they want to go to the church. Yes. Yeah, and these are your, um, oh, you can put your towels, towels there. there, your mm. kitchen towels. Uh, wow. For you who love coffee, coffee makers, filters, mm. we all have those stuff. Okay. Uh, so you can have that. Right. You have that. Uh, the kettles. And then you can put your rubbish here. Yeah, just in case. This one here, I had I had kept it here. You mm. can put it here after working on the worktop. Yeah. Then later you come and throw it here. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so oh you can as well goodness. put your fruits there, yeah? Uh-huh. And then there are cups here. Let me tell you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, we have people who came for Rappo, our liaison mm -hmm. officers, Mama from Mama Rappo Africa. Yeah. They have been here. They went uh, in Fabe. They went in Fabe. Uh, Mama Rapo is our uh, executive director, and mm. here is Mr. Martin, mm. our liaison officer in German who connects us to all the sponsors in Europe. Wow. So we gave him a cup, and he said, You have to leave it there so that I can find it. Oh. <laughs> uh, yes. So cheers to Mr. Uh, Martin. Martin, Mr. Martin. Yes. Cheers. We yeah. got your cup. <laughs> I haven't got the chance to see you. That was a very wise decision you made. How else would I see you? Yes. And then we also another one. Mm -hmm. This lady is a liaison officer in German. This mm -hmm. one, a liaison officer in Europe. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Lynn, don't mind. I'm yet to get you a cup. <laughs> not now. <laughs> Until yeah, you become a sponsor, you're not going to have oh, one. No! <laughs> because these cups have, I respect you. Uh, I I respect what you are doing for Rappo. Long live. <laughs> you need a cup, for sure. You're selling Rappo to the world. 
<laughs> yeah, that's Mrs. Reina. Mrs. Reina, hi mm. from Uganda. I got to see you. <laughs> yeah, so we kept them here. Okay. But they keep on coming back every oh. December. Oh. Yeah, they keep on coming back. And then uh, there you keep your stuff. Anyway, more space and more space. Mm. Yeah. And then you have a, a dining. dining. You can do the charging. You can do, yeah. <laughs> right. So what has been the most challenging thing for you as an owner of Airbnb? Yeah, um, the most challenging thing is uh, sometimes people come in mm -hmm. and break stuff. Mm. They don't want to pay. But before you come in here, we have a tenant's agreement that you sign. Right. Yeah. Now, when you sign it, whatever you spoil, definitely you must pay. Right. So we, we always tell you, please kindly, when you come, leave everything the way it is. Mm. Yeah, don't break. Just in case you break by mistake, definitely mm. you know that you have to buy a cup and replace it. Because if you don't do that, it's going to be a loss. Just mm. imagine if you have some of our, our customers yeah. have children who are running up and down, up and down, mm. uh, they will end up breaking a chair. Right. But since we have a tenant's agreement, what mm. we do is you just mend the chair and then we have the peace together. So the most important question. Yes. How much is this place for a night? For a night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Okay. For it an is, individual, for you're an, going to tell us how much it is for an individual and how much is it for a family? For a family. Yes. Yeah, for an individual, definitely that's a bed. Mm. Yeah, these beds are double beds. So you can, you just have to pay uh, $60. Mm -hmm. bed and breakfast right sixty dollars per day bed and breakfast mm -hmm. you enjoy everything around here you are free to move around the eco village eco gardens yes yeah so you have the power inclusive mm -hmm. how the only thing if you want to cook for yourself definitely you're gonna pay an extra fee for gas oh, okay yeah. right okay hmm yeah so me as Lynn, you know I'm into construction as well, yeah. the starting one. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give me if I wanted to start up an Airbnb? Airbnb. What advice would you give me? Okay, first and foremost, if you really want to start an Airbnb, mm. just get to know what you think mm -hmm. your customers may need. Mm -hmm. You know, cleanliness, health matters a lot mm -hmm. cleanliness matters a lot put for them a toilet mm -hmm. make it in suite yeah if you're making a room sometimes if you don't have too much space like we have in here yeah. make it in suite let them have their toilet inside put something small where they can cook from mm -hmm. in that one room we can arrange it so well people lynn is going to make an airbnb i'm sure of that lynn Please call me. I'll help you. I have I have experience. I can't that. wait. Like, yeah, call me. I'll tell you. Telling me, put renters, put renters. But yes. I have an idea of um, I want huts. You know those small huts yes. that are cozy and nice and small. But I'm still planting out the trees because it will not look nice if it's that bare. That's right. Like the ones we're gonna put there yes. in in the eco village. Oh, okay. Yeah, outside. Okay. So I want you. It. I want you to give your best shot at advertising mm. this place. Where is it located? How much is it? Um, such thing. Okay. So uh, this property is just located uh, one hour from Kampala. If you are in a private car, it can even be like 50 minutes drive, but just give yourself one hour. Yeah, one hour from Kampala and it's only um, 25 drive from here to Jinja. So it's a strategic place. You're here, you can go to Jinja, do some rafting, do um, hiking in Mavira Forest, zip lining, do activities there. I mean, you know when I'm talking about Jinja, yeah? Yeah, Jinja is a tourist country. I mean like community yes. not country yeah because ginger is found in uganda east africa so yeah that is a that's that, that's basically where it is between kampala and mm. ginger right this is where it is right yeah we are in a, a district called um kayunga mm -hmm. so for us we call it kayunga ginger so most of them call it ginger right yeah um so for you people who have been watching 
I know some of you have been watching up to this very, 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 very point. Yeah. And I would like you to give me your honest review about this place. If you're there and you really want to have a quiet uh, holiday, a quiet, a long time, you are in the UK, in the US, wherever you are, and you really want to just have a safe place to yourself, mm -hmm. you know, run to here. Of course, I'm going to be leaving her number in the the video so the ones who have gotten to this point will see the number and then i'll also pin it in the description box i'll also leave it as a comment so that you get to reach to her you can recommend this video to a friend to a family member to your enemy in case they also you know some <laughs> enemies also need recommendations that's there. right <laughs> they also need recommendations and the garden yes they did not see the garden I tell because you. that's another there's a lot of things for me to show you <laughs> you know there is a lot of things for me to show you yeah. so if you want to see other things about this important and very 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 beautiful beautiful place because you know there is a lot to come i want you to run and give me a, a, a you know a thumbs up mm. so that we get um this video to more people your yeah. girl needs some kamani that's right your girl needs some please kamani. support me <laughs> yeah. so please come and enjoy this place mm. otherwise they have cooked food for me, a lot of food, <laughs> and I am going to be eating. By the way, the guy behind the camera is called Brian from Kaliro. Let me show you. Let me show you. That one. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. My name is Brian from Kaliro, and I'm here with Lin Zabo. Mm -hmm. We came here, Dr. Ashi. Oh. Okay. Do doctor, doctor invited us to come and visit this place. Mm -hmm. As you've seen, the place is very good. Please, guys, come and support Rapo. Yes. This is Rapo Center too. Yes. Uh, Buyekwe. Ah, not Buyekwe. It's uh, ginger. Just ginger. <laughs> ginger. Okay. Yes. Rapo ginger. Center ginger. Please. Ginger. Come yeah. and support Dr. Tash. Come and support Rapo. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of activities Rapo is doing here. Actually, in this community even. Mm. Even in the whole of Uganda, so come and support Rapo. Okay, what's yes. your channel name? My channel name is Brian from Kalido. I do traveling and village content. Please, mm. guys, kindly go and check me out. Mm. I'm on the road if you want to subscribe. Yay! As guys. <laughs> and don't quit, don't you dare. I'll not quit, I'll not quit. So come and support me. Check mm. me out on my YouTube channel. Okay, yes, right. Okay, um. And this one, your channel is? My channel is TNT, Connect UG. <laughs> you can hold it in your hand, don't mind. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. There we are. Your channel is? So my channel is TNT, Connect UG. Please mm -hmm. just pass there. Uh, subscribe, share the channel to your friends. Mm. Yeah, so uh, also, mm -hmm. I have a new channel. I have another channel. It's called Content Creator, Unity for Content Creator for african content creators all oh, right yeah did you know that lean african uh, content creators are really uh sometimes suffering they don't know who to talk to others mm. are fighting others don't know how to start others don't know how to manage so with this channel mm. definitely um, i got you covered okay i got you covered yes right yes so with that, my lovely people, I'd like to call this an end of this beautiful video. I'd like to call this the very end of this beautiful video, but also the start of another one, because I'm going to be showing you the surroundings so that you can fall even more in love. Yes. Eh? We're going to be planting trees. We're going to be planting flowers. So wait for that video. It's coming. Eh? Mm -hmm. For now, 